Okay, so what we're going to do is show you how to restrict the domain of a function and uh, use that to find the range if uh, a question asks for a range of a particular function. So how we're going to do it is we're going to go to menu and go to the graph mode. And what we want to do is we want to sketch our graph of y equals x squared. And then the additional bit, the bit that's a bit unusual, is we're going to restrict the domain from minus 2 to 5. Really easy to do. So we do x squared, and the domainy bit is where we do a comma, and we'll do square brackets. So it's going to be shift and plus to open the square bracket. And then I type in it my minus 2, comma, 5, and then shift and close brackets. And then if I press execute and execute again, it should draw my graph. Now, that just looks like a normal x squared graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm just click, going to click on V window. I'm going to change it to the standard um, x and y axis. What that's doing is it's going from minus 10 to 10 on the x axis. And I think if we do that, we should see a little bit better of what's going on. You can see there it's much lower on the left-hand side than the right-hand side because it's going from minus 2 on the x up to 5 on the, uh, the x-axis. Now, what we want to do is find the range. So the range is looking at the y-axis. We need to find the smallest possible value of y and the greatest possible value of y for that graph. Now, if we look at it, the smallest possible value is this minimum here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use G-solve. So if I do Shift and G-solve, and I want to find a minimum, so press min. And there we go, it finds it. It's when x is 0 and y is 0. So that is the uh, bottom of my range, the lowest value of my range. And I also need the greatest value. Well, the greatest value is off up here somewhere. We can see that's when, oh, sorry, go back to the graph there. It's when uh, x is 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do trace, and then I'm going to type in the value 5, and it's going to take me all the way up to 5, and it tells me when x is 5, y is 25, so my upper value is 25. So the range there of that function is between 0 and 25. Now the common mistake is to just look at the two values of the, on the domain, the lowest value of the domain, the highest value of the domain, and put those in, but if we have a look at, see what the value is when x is minus 2, so I'm on trace mode, do minus 2, press that, you can see that y is 4. That, that's clearly not the smallest value. The smallest value is down there. So the nice thing about sketching it is you get to see that really nicely and clearly. Cool. Let's have a look at the second one. It says state the range of g of x equals sine x. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to press exit to go back in graph mode. I'm going to just go up there, delete, get rid of that one, and type in sine x, then comma, open the square bracket, from naught, comma, to 270. And close bracket, if I press execute and draw it, oh, it doesn't look like much. Now that's because the axes are still set from what they were before. So if I want to change those, I'm going to go V window and trig, because I'm now using the trig function. If I click on draw, you can see the graph with that restricted domain. And now if we're looking at the range, we can see the greatest value is up here and the smallest value is down here. So if I do G solve and minimum, it says not found. Now the reason it's not found sorry, is because it's right there, right at the, the extreme of the domain. And the calculator doesn't like finding the maximum and minimum using G-solve at those points. So all I have to do to do that is trace, and then 270. And then we can see that the minimum point is there, and the minimum value is minus 1. So it's going from minus 1 all the way up to our maximum value. Now our maximum value is up here. Now because this is in between the minimum maximum values of the domain, we can just use G-solve to find that. So we could do shift and G-solve, click on max, and there we go. The max value is 1. So there we go. G of x is between minus 1 and 1. And that's how we restrict the domain on the graphics calculators.